welcome to the Jurassic Collection. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a lot of things in the last year or something. Um, I've been very very busy, I've been in between jobs and also I have a lot of things going on in my personal life. But I will try my best to do more videos in the future. And speaking of personal lives, today we're making a very special video. A lot of you guys have been asking me on my Facebook page and here on the YouTube channel um, how did I became a collector or where did my Jurassic Park love came from? And to answer to that question fully, um, this video will have to be like two hours long at least because I like to, to go on and on and on and on about everything Jurassic Park like um, every single purchase, every single Jurassic Park interaction, every everything, I mean, I could speak about Jurassic Park all day long and none of us have that time. So, um, instead, I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible and try to explain as best as I can how did I became um, so in love with this franchise. And okay, as a side note, becoming a Jurassic Park fan was like the obvious thing for me because um, I was already a huge dinosaur fan I mean I had a pet goose growing up when I was little because it reminded me so much of a dinosaur and everything I wanted to have of dinosaurs like my clothes, my, my plushies, uh, everything I wanted to have about dinosaurs and at the time my all-time favorite movie was The Land Before Time so I was a Steven Spielberg fan even before I was a Steven Spielberg fan. Okay, um, to the point. I've been collecting Jurassic Park stuff even before uh, the movie came out. In August 1992, uh, me and my family traveled to Los Angeles on a holiday and of course we went to Universal Studios. That was my first time going to Universal Studios. Um, it was really tough for me because I didn't speak any English at all, like whatsoever. I mean, it's not, not like I speak good English right now, but at the time I did not understand most of the things everybody was saying. However, I was able, I was still able to experience um, everything. I saw everything, and while on the tour, on the tour bus. Um, before the, um, the area that's now confrontation, there was this um, jeep just sitting there in the open. And at first, none of us gave it too much attention. But then I saw the logo that had something like resembled a dinosaur. Of course, I was intrigued, so I grabbed the camera and took this picture. And without knowing, I took the very first picture of the very first thing I ever had of Jurassic Park. Anyway, uh, we got off the tour bus and, and we wandered around Universal Studios and I came across the, one of these um, pressed penny machines and I saw the, the same logo again. So I, I asked my mom, hey, can, can I make one of these? She said, sure. And I made it and I still keep it. Actually, this is my very first piece of memorabilia I've ever gotten of Jurassic Park and it's really funny because it also says 1992 on it. So after that we went, we went on with our holiday and we even went to the Cabazon, and I think it's called, with the huge dinosaurs. Yeah, that, that was fun. Um, then uh, next year uh, the movie came out and it was a huge success. out pretty much around my birthday so as a birthday gift one of my aunts uh, took me and all of my cousins and my siblings to the movie theater to watch it um, and everybody was terrified of the film uh, I was everybody was like covering their their eyes and one of my cousins was actually crying and I was just blown away I was like no way, this is amazing, this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. So after watching the movie, um, my whole world changed. 
everything I ever wanted was like the culmination in that movie. And so the obsession began. The very first toys I got were these. Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Tim Murphy, the Speeding Dilophosaurus, and the Ford Explorer. My mom also got me these kind of beauty supplies. <laughs> Trying so hard to find something kind of girly within the franchise for me. Bless her heart. I still have them and still love them. Especially this little lip balm. Oh my god, I like this one so much. It's so silly, I cannot help but, but loving it. Getting any kind of merchandise from Jurassic Park was a nightmare because I lived in a, in a town that didn't even have a supermarket so there was, there was nowhere to buy anything. After that the next things I got were for Christmas. I got this beautiful Stegosaurus and my all-time favorite, my young T-Rex. Her name is Rexy. At the time this was my whole collection and it stayed like that for many many years until the lost world came along and oh boy was I excited to see this one the advertising for this movie was crazy everywhere you look there was something the lost world I mean there were the toys there were the posters there was even a lot of food stuff I mean everything and of course, I had to have them all. My parents were kind enough to put up with me and actually bought me most of the toys in the line since they saw how passionate I was about it. And also several relatives also pitched in and some friends and I don't know, everyone always knew I, I was a, a dinosaur fan so they just gave me dinosaur stuff. And then came Jurassic Park 3. Oh boy, weren't we all disappointed? A at first I was like, no, it's not that bad, I mean, it it's okay. But then I was like, of course it's fucking bad, what, what were they thinking? And then it was like, but you know, we, we now have a new Jurassic Park film, right? And then I was like, so what? It's better not to have anything than this fucking piece of shit. And then I was like, yeah, but at least we have new toys, right? And then I saw them and I was like, oh my freaking god, what were they thinking? And of course, there was the worst scene in the whole freaking franchise. This scene, literally, killed my love for Jurassic Park for so many years. <laughs> On a less gloomy note, <laughs> Jurassic Park 3 killed my love for Jurassic Park and, so, and, and my collecting as well. So at the time I just stacked all my toys in a box and moved it out of the way and I, I also gave away a lot of things like um, all of my clippings, um, a few of my uh, board games, I, I don't know, a lot of things I gave away and I regret because now I cannot get them back but anyway, I, I, I moved from my hometown, I went to college um, and during my stay in college one of my teachers asked us to make a to tell a story through pictures and with toys and I didn't have any toys with me at the time so I asked my parents to bring my box of toys with me and when I reopened that box it was like like a punch in the face like all the nostalgia flew right into me like all those good memories all, all those good times everything I ever felt about these items got, went back to me. On the assignment uh, I made this stupid story about um, a T-Rex that was eating another dinosaur and suddenly saw a bottle of beer and 
she got drunk on it and she was so wasted that her colors changed <laughs> I know, it was stupid my, my, but my teacher liked it and I got an A so yay but anyway um, the, the good feelings I had while opening that box were so overwhelming that it instantly um, brought back my love for the franchise so I began collecting again so let's say that my hardcore collecting began somewhere around 2010 also I was a little older I already had a job so I could buy my own stuff and God bless eBay because otherwise I wasn't gonna be able to get anything here it's so hard to get anything here so the first thing I bought after after this drought was the compies, don't the, the the cell offices a new in box and I actually got them for like nine dollars or something and opening the reopening the package wow it made me feel like a kid again and of course with all the Jurassic Park stuff that we have now <laughs> The franchise just re was reborn. All that stuff that's now flowing onto me. I mean, now I have so many Jurassic World stuff that I need a separate room just for it. But anyway, my point was to the question, why do I collect and why do I collect Jurassic Park? Because it makes me happy. Because it reminds me of a simpler time. It reminds me of the happiness I felt when I was a kid. And I think that's the whole point of nostalgia, right? Oh my god, I'm so sorry this video just got so long. I know most of you must be snoring by now, sorry. Anyway, to everyone who watched this, thank you so much. I hope it wasn't too bad. And to those of you who are snoring, enjoy this.